Hello fellow designers and photographers. Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host Buddy Blackford and today we're gonna start talking about how to save and review a history uh, state text file. And what that really does is it creates a file that Photoshop um, has already created for you and you can save it out every time you do some uh, changes to your um, changes to your document it'll it'll save that stuff out so you can easily go back and review it later the reasons why you might want to try something like this is um, to retrace the steps you took to produce a particular design so for example you're working on something in Photoshop you're not really sure what you're really doing but in the end it comes out awesome you're like wow how did I do that so you go to like write down what you did so you can recreate it later but you always but when that happens sometimes you like forget steps and stuff like that but well if you save out your art history file or your history state file then you can um, look at it and it'll tell you the different steps and one of the awesome things about it also is that it keeps timestamps on there and the timestamps are good for giving to your clients and things like that sometimes clients won't believe you that you worked on something for such and such hours and they'll give you a hard time all you gotta do is print off the uh, history uh, text file and give it to them and be like hey this is what it was this is what I did and this is how long it took so that's uh pretty much yeah so that that's what what you would use it for so let's go ahead and go, start saving this stuff so first thing we gotta do is uh, set up our save history so we're going to go into our preferences so let's go to edit preferences general and then we've got this history log down here check that box there and we can save log items to metadata that records the data as embedded metadata and if you don't know what that is um, I'll just look it up real quick for you right now to pull it like on the screen so you guys know what metadata is I don't know the exact definition that's why I'm gonna bring it so here's what um, metadata is I'll give you a second if you want to pause the video and read about it and basically it's just data like a data file about the data that Photoshop uses so you can save it as that let's get that out of here you can also save it as a text file which um, records the data to a text file obviously or you can do both so let's just check both there we go now you need to pick it somewhere to save it to and I'm just gonna save this as history and then it automatically saves it as a text file I'm gonna save it in my new Boston folder and hit save so you can choose it again by clicking on this to where it's gonna save and you can see there that it created my history I'm just gonna do a couple things here to my document I'm gonna click out of it and um, oh, I need to go over the other part of the uh, of the preferences here we have um, let's go back here and click on our history log go to both and we'll resave it as this and then we have the edit log items because there's a few of these and I wanted to uh, go over them a little bit so the sessions only only records uh, basic information such as like when it was opened and closed now the concise um, puts more information in there on the actions you've done and then detailed has the most data and includes date and times for each action and individual state so let's go to detailed and then we'll hit OK and let's just do a couple things I'm gonna move I'll just move this layer and then I'll draw on it and then I'll move it again and then I'll use the magic wand tool on it there we go so that's a couple of things that we've done so now we've got it created and we wanna go and review it so I'm gonna close Photoshop so it'll record that so um, let's go closing it right here to close 
and I'll just hit yes for now just to save this. I don't care where it saves. Let's back it up. And we'll just save it right there for now. So this should close out. No, no, I don't want to save that one. And uh, let's go to where we uh, had our history file created. So I'm going to go into my folder, and here it is here. History. Now if I open this up, we can see the stuff here. When this was closed, we've got our a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on here. Here's some times. Um, what else we got here? Move current layer, move current layer, magic wand, brush tool. As you can see, brush tool, move, move, magic wand, and everything like that. So this is what your history file is going to look like. It might be a little bit bigger later on um, when you like actually do a whole bunch of stuff. So this is what it looks like. And if your client ever questions you on how long you took and what you did and stuff like that, or you want to see how you created something, then you can use this to pretty much check it out. It even has like detailed stuff in here, like your selection was 452 by 70, tolerance was 100. I mean, it goes into a pretty decent amount of of uh, of uh, detail into this when you have it set on detailed. So if you had it set on sessions only, it's going to look different. So so uh, it's not going to have like all these different. Uh, detailed informations and all the different times and stuff like that so make sure you have it on detailed if you really want to use it I mean there's not really much reason not to have it on detailed unless someone tells you to so that's uh, how you use your uh, history uh, text files and how to review them and how to create them and everything like that so it's really cool I think if you want to like record what you've been doing so thanks a lot for watching uh, this tutorial and let's see you guys in the next one we're gonna start getting into the meat and potatoes of Photoshop going over like um, layers or, I mean adjustment layers filters different tools and um, it's gonna be pretty awesome so see you guys later in that tutorial have a good one